Polaris is a star that we have used to navigate our way around the globe for millennia. Since the advent of electricity in the last century, uh, the amount of light going up into the sky has created a lot of light pollution. Exmoor National Park uh, received its uh, dark sky accreditation in 2011. Uh, basically what it means is that uh, the amount of lighting going up into the sky is controlled and it enables us to see many more stars uh, from Exmoor than we would see from a town or a city. Exmoor Dark Sky Area has an inner and an outer zone. The inner zone is the core dark sky area. The outer zone basically takes in the rest of Exmoor. From Exmoor, we can see uh, the International Space Station come overhead. Uh, we can see planets in the sky, we, uh, the planets that we can see, uh, Venus really very brightly, Mars in the sky as well, uh, Jupiter is the second brightest planet in the sky that we can see, and we can also see Saturn as well. Two constellations that you can always see in the night sky from Exmoor are Ursa Major, also known as the Great Bear or the Big Dipper or the Saucepan or the Plough. Uh, and you can also see Cassiopeia, which appears like a giant W in the sky. Then through the rest of the year, you have a procession of constellations that move from uh, the uh, eastern horizon to the western horizon. The Moon is the brightest object that we have in our night sky. It of course governs the tides that we have here on Earth. Uh, we can see it go through different phases of illumination on its 28-day orbit around Earth. We see hundreds of craters on the surface. There's a crater called Tycho that we can see, which is about the size of London. Uh, and we can see uh, a mountain chain as well. Some of the peaks in that mountain chain are about 15,000 foot high, which if you think about it, is about half the size of Everest. Uh, you can also see with the naked eye uh, the Andromeda galaxy as this faint patch of light in the sky uh, and you can see uh, some of the star clusters like the Pleiades star cluster as well. Exmoor's dark skies have so much to offer. Whether you want to see the Milky Way splashed out across the sky, whether you want to go in search of star systems and star clusters with binoculars, whether you want to find distant galaxies far beyond our own with a telescope, there is so much more to discover on Exmoor.